The uncertainty around this school year can feel heavy for parents. The stress, the anxiety, very real for a lot of families right now. While some schools have gone to 100% virtual learning, others are still deciding on their plans or offering hybrid options. No matter the case, parents are left to make some tough decisions that can leave them feeling lost and overwhelmed. I just feel like it's quickly approaching and the fact that I kind of have to choose is almost more pressure because it's, I just feel like there's no good choice. There's no right choice. Claire Schubert putting into words what so many parents across Michigan are feeling right now. It just seems like it's just so heavy. It just feels so heavy all the time and so anxious. And, you know, part of me is like, oh, I should just, I should just keep them home and homeschool. But First of all, you know, we're a two income family and I kind of I need to work. Her girls are going into first and fourth grade. She echoes the real and honest struggle to balance it all and plan ahead when lately it feels nearly impossible. I just feel like, I don't know, for me always, like the hardest part of parenting has been like second guessing. And I've been doing so much of that lately. That's the thing. There's no certainty and that makes it hard to know what will work best. That's why Jennifer Thayer, a social worker and program manager for family services at Easter Seals, says it's important to be honest with your kids. Listen to them, validate what they're feeling, what they're telling you and what their fears are. It's okay as an adult to say, I'm scared too. I can't not talk to her about it because she's going to be in fourth grade. She knows, you know, so I've kind of made the decision like, okay, I'm going to go with, they are going back to school in person. And, you know, we bought new backpacks and new lunch boxes. And we're, I'm trying to create that back to school excitement that we would do normally, but knowing that that might change. It's okay. Whatever decision you make, you may decide that, um, having them go face to face is what needs to happen. And then you may need to pull them out um, or vice versa. Um, you know, we live in a society where we have choice. And I think it's important that parents know what their choices are. And to remember what you choose may be different from a friend and that's okay. Make those decisions as a family. So you don't have to make them on your own. So bring your family and have your little family meetings, bring in the grandparents, um, you know, talk to your, your closest friends, um, you know, and, and stay strong to your decision. You know, it, everyone's situation is different. So I guess that's part of how to navigate is to just kind of trust your gut and just do what you think is right for your child and your family. And if at the end of the day, you've done what you think was best with the information you had, then there's, there's, you know, nothing else you can do about that. And you did the right thing.